you can tell a real machinist. He's got pencil markings and die chem splattered all over his prints. <laughs>
all 90 degrees with each other. I'll rest this edge on a parallel. This will go against my top face. I will only use one parallel here and let the jaw face and this square the part up. So there's our squared block. Let's see. One four seven five. Height is one four six three. So we've got at least ten thousandths on the extra material on the top. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to drill and remove material in the center of the two holes, cylinder sleeves go, and we're gonna drill another hole into the material here for a flat end mill entry point. We don't want to plunge mill, we want to side mill. So if we put a hole here all the way down, almost all the way down, we can go into that hole and then machine material out on the side of the mill, not the bottom. So that's what we'll do next. So this is the front of the engine, and this is the right side. So the two cylinders are offset from the center towards the right side because there's a cover plate that's not on here that will square this up. So the dimensions we're interested in are here, 781, this hole is 875 on this edge, and this one is one and three-eighths from this side. So let's mark those, take it over to the mill, and drill some, rough out some of that material. On this side here, we just need to be, get our hole inside. Here's our depth. This one, I need to add these two. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you're not interested in watching me drill two more holes, uh, but I did want to mention that one thing we're doing differently this time is we're setting it on parallels because we're going to be drilling all the way through and the drill will be coming out the bottom side. On this hole here, it didn't go through. Okay, there's, so there's our completed blank for the block. Well, I thought that went pretty well. We squared up a block of material and got a good start on our cylinder block for our Wallaby 30cc engine. So today's video focused primarily on how I square up a block of material. I lock it into the vise, then establish five sides, all perpendicular and parallel to each other, that I can then use as a reference to square up 
the rest of the workpiece. All right, well, next time we'll take this blank and we will either CNC machine or machine on the mill the remaining features. Until next time, I'm Greg. Thanks for visiting me in my workshop. Take care.